Hey y'all, so I watched episode two of no, Young Royal Academy titled Jean and Jean. And I can say I think this oh I really like this episode better than the first episode. Um uh, we get a little bit more into what everybody's been going on and you get to see their reactions to Ben essentially doping them and how their powers didn't exactly come back the way that they thought they were going to. Um, they, some of them have gotten like a big boost, like Allison, you remember where she was able to um, think the control instead of saying it, so she almost was able to do that like, once in the last season, now she was just like, oh, I can still do that. And then Ben's little octopus thing not really functioning the way that I guess it was before, and he's not sure, but I do really feel bad for Luther, him having to go back to that gorilla man body thing, which I think is weird, that's his like default state now because like when um before I get like when they were kids like him being number one like his that his strength was his power right and then he didn't become like this gorilla man thing until after he died and their dad tried to bring him back so why is this gorilla state like his default setting I don't really remember that being something that was spoken about about why that's his default setting and it's just it's confusing to me maybe there's I, I don't know that's just weird very weird to me. Um, okay, I'm Diego Diegoing. Him just being like the most excited to have his powers back. And he's just like, I am back, baby. And he's like, psh, 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 psh. like, <laughs> that's awesome. And where did, um, what's his girl, what's his wife's name? Lily? That's her name? Lila? Lila. Where did Lila get these laser eyes things from? Because I'm pretty sure that wasn't like her thing before. Maybe I should have rewatched season three. Because I really don't remember Lila having these laser eye things. <laughs> Um, but the one thing I did find very annoying was the baby shark song playing. Like, I hope that's not their dance sequence number replacement because that's dumb. I hate that. I hate that a lot. But, um, I'm really enjoying the, um, the omniscient, the omnis, the, the over, the cloud of their father being alive in this timeline. And clearly he's like all out to get them. And then like, how are Jean and Jean? connected to the Hargreaves Association and then who is this Jennifer girl really and all of that that's I like with the story's picking up but I'm also concerned that this may be the point where it goes off the hinges because I feel like that's what happens and like the other seasons like the first two episodes are like all right we're grooving we're growing and then it's like completely falls off the hinges and you're like what well, else first season? First season was pretty great. But like season two and three, I feel like you just that's when things just kinda bottom out. And I hope that that's not the case. Although I have been avoiding watching other people's like spoilers or whatever just because I just wanna take my time and watch this final season. And yeah, so if you have been watching, comment below what you thought of episode two. I uh, guess I'm probably gonna take like the whole week to watch every episode. I am not binging this, at least that's not my intention, but we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Till next time. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. <laughs>